mountain lovers this is rana and today i am going to talk about bnc that is basic mountaineering course which i have just been completed from hmi darjeeling basically it's a 28 days course and in this 28 days course you have to be both physically and mentally fit to endure every kind of hard situation so before you go to hmi for bnc i would like to discuss about some specific matters which i had experience during this course in this 28 days course first 8 days you have to be in hmi and participate in different kinds of mountaineering activities both theoretical and practical in theory class you have to learn about mountain manners mountain terminology mountain clothing backpacking tent pitching and also some medical practices about first aid in the practical class you have to learn rock climbing belaying rappelling in the tenjing rock which is situated 20 minutes distance from hmi besides this hmi has two artificial climbing wall one is in outdoor and was uh, one is in indoor uh, so besides this there are uh, another class about rope and knot which is easy to learn and easy to forget in the second phase you have the training on glacier that is rathong glacier 3 hours distance from chori khang base camp to reach base camp you have 4 days trek from yaksam from darjeeling you will get a car to reach yaksam then trek to shoka then shoka to zongri then zongri to base camp you have to stay 10 days in base camp and in this 10 days you have 5 days training in rathong glacier in a rathong glacier you have to learn different kinds of ice crafting like ice wall climbing using ice axe zoomer or front point besides this you have class on reverse rescue in the base camp you also have theory and practical classes uh, like uh, self arrest map reading suspension trial and traverse stretcher making etc head gain is the most important and interesting part of this course we have summited mount renock that is 16500 feet high so this is the training part and next i would like to discuss about some points which is necessary for your bnc number 1 pre course workout in hmi at every morning you have pt or yoga session in the morning pt uh, you have 4 to 5 km run in the road and i think you have uh, some knowledge about mountain roads and how it feels to walk or uh, run on that so you have to practice at home at least 7 to 8 km run as we are from different terrain mostly from plains so please start practice before 6 months of your bmc if possible uh, practice with uh, rucksack with a minimum load of uh, 15 kg as you have tiger hill trek pandam tree step trek uh, so follow the weekly physical training routine given in hmi website number 2 medical certificate when you apply for bmc you have to send the medical certificate but when you will go for reporting for bmc you have to produce fresh medical certificate and one more thing that is bp if you have high bp you have to be more careful about your blood pressure if you have high bp then you could have face lots of problems at hmi because hmi is very strict about bp you may have to return from shoka if you don't have normal bp number 3 insurance when you reporting to hmi you have to produce your self insurance certificate uh, otherwise you have to make insurance from hmi office uh, which will cost around 600 rupees number 4 don't bring any extra clothes you can check in the list in hmi website for which items you should carry don't carry heavy items from hmi you will get rucksack windproof jacket and pant feather jacket bala club hat etc beside this you have to carry personal equipment like harness carabiner zoomer helmet so be prepared for that two t-shirts and two trek pant is enough for base camp and no fat about underwear <laughs> depends on you number 5 sunglass 
this is the most important thing without this you won't be able to do any kind of snow activity and without sunscreen you may be little like our predecessors number six hand gloves you need two to three pairs of hand gloves which must be waterproof otherwise you won't be able to uh, even hold the ice axe if you don't have waterproof gloves don't worry i use rubber gardening gloves over the cotton ones uh, which was a desi jugad by hmi instructors and number seven is socks carry at least five pairs of socks and three must be the woolen ones for glacier to do a snow activity because it will get wet number eight don't carry any extra food you need not to carry any extra food uh, like biscuits or dry fruits as it will be very very heavy to carry in your rucksack while trekking number nine no need to carry any medicine hmi medical room is 24 into 7 open for trainees even in the base camp so no need to carry uh, medicines uh, except your personal medicines number 10 carry a flask if possible carry a flask uh, for hot water in the base camp you will get uh, hot water uh, every day in base camp so you can carry a, a flask for hot water most important thing number 11 carry your own trek shoe in bmc you need two pairs of shoes one for trekking and one for uh, pt session or yoga session you uh, need not to carry any pa shoes that is uh, climbing shoes if possible please uh, use waterproof and high ankle trekking shoes because it will help you a lot in while trekking in the base camp they will uh, provide you snow boots so in the end i would like to tell that mountaineering is a mind game you have to be strong mentally as well as physically one more thing don't skip any meals during this course because it is your only source of energy and recovery the main motto of hmis bmc is what is hard to endure is sweet to remember so if you are able to complete all the mountain activities uh, through this course it will surely be a valuable memory for the rest of your life one more thing what about bathing forget about bathing i didn't bath for 17 days